Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of the 980 Nightmare Hunt Despair, which better known as the Crota Nightfall. Nightmare, sorry. So all the weapons and the subclasses and mods that I'm going to be using will be up on the screen. I chose to use the Hunter because, well, the invisibility and the tether I thought would be more useful than any of the, any of the other classes. Since as arc damage is amplified in this in this uh, Nightmare Hunt, so Crota does arc damage. Basically, moving from point to point, he would probably be able to kill me quite easily if I wasn't invisible. So, I had... This was the one that I really wanted because Crota is a bit of a nemesis of mine from Destiny 1. It was the first thing I ever soloed was the Crota raid. So, this is a nice way to top it off. So, as soon as you come in, you're going to have that shriek and then you're going to have a heap of ads. And you're going to have an unstoppable ogre. Now, as you'll see on the screen, I, I, I toss kind of a, a grenade just just... Just to kind of stop the ads from, you know, the smaller ads, the red bar ads, from pushing out too much. Because they will push you. Only a couple of them will, but as you'll see, they move about just in front of you. You want to clear as many of the ads as possible quickly. Then I focus on the shielded ads, you know, as, as much as possible. In between taking down the shielded ads, I'm going to be trying to get shots on the nightmares. Now... For anybody that doesn't know, the, the kind of the best way to take nightmares out is you want to take one of them down any way possible. As you can see, I'm just scout rifling from long range because elemental area attack really hurts in this. I mean, you can die from burning out, so you have to be really careful with the bombs that the acolytes throw. So I chose to do this from range, just keep my distance, make it hard, uh, make myself a harder target to hit. Now the unstoppable is behind that big pillar in the centre. I'm just trying to whittle down the ads. As you see, now he's coming. I'm going to get into cover here, dodge, and then hit him with an unstoppable shot, which, as you'll probably know, you've just got to aim, aim down sights until the barrel starts to, starts to uh, shine. And then when you're going to stun, stun them again, there's a bit of a cool-off period, so you've got to wait about 3 to 5 seconds before firing again. But the unstoppables are what we want. We don't want... we If we can get away with it, we don't want many of the barrier champions. So now, as soon as I take down this Nightmare, it's going to drop this orb and I'm going to get this buff. This buff allows me to take out Nightmares really quickly. So, as soon as you take one down, you'll see it will play in uh, in the next section. There's a couple of nightmares we've got to take down. Now, one of the other things you'll see, you'll see I could probably have cleared these a lot faster using my heavy or my special, but famine's on. So, you don't get a lot of drops from the weapon you're using. So, you kind of have to switch up your weapons, even if it means slowing down the DPS. So, from that in that first section, do it from damage, do it from range. And be careful, the un once the unstoppable is down, then you can maybe, you know, push forward. This is the, kind of the next area, this is kind of the next big area. This is the, this is, this night, this area is very specific. Because, you see, I'm, I'm doing everything from outside the room. And the reason for that is, as soon as I go inside the room, I'm going to get another champion. And I, we don't want another champion. 90% of the time, that's going to be a barrier champion in there. That was out of the runs I'd done to learn this strategy. That was the first time I had an unstoppable. The barrier champion is attacked in exactly the same way, just with the Arianas from where we are now. And and we'll speak a little bit more about, you know, golden, if you like, the, the barrier champions to come after you. So what I'm trying to do now is just fire in, in the general direction. I do not want to go into this room. I do not want to have to face... Possibly, more than likely, a barrier champion while I'm trying to take nightmares down. So I'm going to get one shot, one or two shots, and then I realise I've got more heavy on the floor than I have special. So we're going to just try and melt one of these ads with the heavy. So see, I'm just going from ad to ad, just trying to bring the health down. And this guy's going to go down. Once he goes down, now I'm going to push. I've got my invisibility, I want this orb. And you, you can see you just melt them. Once you've got that, dodge invisibility because the barrier always always comes around to the front. You see, I nearly I'm, I nearly died there. So I'm just going to wait here, get my invisibility, and then go. You don't, don't need to take this barrier champion down. So I'm going to go invisible while I'm in cover. 
It makes means he can't track me. If I go invisible in, in plain view of him, he'll be able to track me and you know, he, there was a chance he'll probably still kill me anyway. So, I think we're going to get an unstoppable here. Now, there's going to be some acolytes and an unstoppable. So, same way, I've, I've brought my heavy out. I, I just want to clear it's these, these acolytes as quickly as possible. I was expecting a barrier champion here, so we're going to stop him here. And get a couple of shots on him. The, ba the, un the unstoppables are the ones that we like. They're kind of the easiest one. Now, you can see there, I hadn't reached my cooldown. So, I tried to stop him. It never worked because he, the cooldown hadn't finished, so I just kept my, you know, kept my dodge reload, went invisible, and just hit him again. Now you've got a couple of nightmare little throws here. I don't want to use. It would probably have been easier if if I had have just used my heavy or used my my uh, Ariana to take them down. I just wanted to bring them down as much as possible with the primary to save ammunition because sometimes you really you can run out pretty easily. So, we just want to get, there we go, we, we, we've we got we've got it to the, the, the point we wanted. And now we'll drop, she'll drop that orb, it will drop that orb, which means even with a primary you can melt. And now we can just finish. Now there is another, there is another nightmare further up, but depending on what, what boss you get up here, sometimes you won't get a barrier or a champion, sometimes you'll just get an ogre, sometimes you'll just get a red bar wizard, like we've got there. It just depends on what 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 kind of heavy duty ad you get there. Sometimes the the nightmare will be there, and you can just come round. You're still buffed. You can just come round and just deal with the damage and finish the nightmare. It doesn't very rarely does it work like that. The nightmare will all nearly always. It's, it's normally not as far up to the back as that. It's normally over to the right. So you never really, I think in all the attempts I've done, I think maybe twice I managed to kill all these nightmares pretty quickly, but in the next area, again, you're going to get a barrier, a barrier champion, nearly all the time, now, what I've learned is, if there's a barrier champion here, you have to finish him, because if you don't, and you run past and just try to deal with these ads, the barrier champion eventually will catch up with you and kill you, while you're trying to deal with this barrier champion, what can make it even more difficult, and it can make it more difficult, is if there's two barrier champions here. Now, it's not quite as bad as the 980 Nightfall, where the, the ads kind of, uh, the ads shield each other. Now, I didn't see that other night, but it, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go back down here and get ammo. So, with the barrier champions, kind of what I do is, two headshots, and they'll shield themselves. Two shots breaks the shield if they're headshots. Then I put the five rounds on them, and I've normally got a dodge reload at that point, and then put uh, two, one or two more shots on to kill them. And that that that's really that. So this area you're going to have roughly the same. Sometimes you'll have an unstoppable. Most of the time will be barrier champions, but again you can get you can get wizards, you can get an ogres. It, it it's just all depends. And as you can see, we've got barrier champion so we'll put one shot second shot and then two shots to break the shield keep hitting put all your ammo in dodge reload and and two more shots finishes them and that's kind of how we do the barrier champions even in the nightmare even in the night falls you know time your shots be efficient with your shots it's and hit headshots when you're trying to break the shield headshots count so if you're hitting headshots, you'll break the shield faster. The nightmares again. We're just in that. We're just in that thing where we don't want to waste ammunition because we're not sure what we're gonna get. So at least if I'm using primary and I get some kills with the primary, I've got a chance of dropping heavy and special. You know. Now it doesn't quite work like that. You know, you can get heavy and special drops by getting kills with heavy and special. I'm just playing the the law of averages. So we're hoping that we can get this third nightmare. And we get the third nightmare. Now we've got a barrier champion. We've got a wizard as well. So from from the top of these stairs. Wait for this champion to come back out. From the top of these stairs. We're going to go after the champion. 
Now, because I'm getting hit and because of the angle I'm firing from, I thought this would be actually quite difficult, as you'll see. Not very difficult at all. He dodged one of my shots. I'm just going down to see if there's any special lying about because we're kind of low on special. And I kept slipping off here, which now I'm even lower on special. <laughs> Take the wizard down. Just... I had to. I knew I had special up top and I was hoping these ads would drop special for me. But as you'll see, this is really all I got going into the, the boss fight. Now, the boss fight... I'll, I'll try and set it up a little bit because there's a lot of information about how to actually attack the boss. Now, if you were in a fire team, this would still work. When you go in, obviously Crow is going to awaken and then he's going to call his first wave of nightmare ads. Then they'll be shielded and there'll be a yellow bar arc shielded knight who will have a sword. A sword is the only way you can deal damage to Crow when he's in his non-nightmare state. So what we're going to do Let's go up here, and I'm just going to tether straight away. Try and capture all the ads. Throw a grenade, and then this is this is kind of, we'll call this Site B. Now, as you can see, we cleared almost every, every one of the nightmares. This is Site B. This is not where you want to attack anything from. I'm just trying to clear the ads. Now, I'm going to dodge reload, and I'm going to run over, see if there's any ammo, which there was. We, we got some special. This is where the action is going to take place. Right, see where this last kind of bone is on, on the right? That is where you want to be to dodge Crota. Crota will still fire at you. So we're gonna once you take the knight down, we're gonna dodge reload and then we're gonna go at go at Crota while we're invisible. Don't try and go at Crota if you're still visible. So now we're gonna head to site B or, or point B and we're gonna try he'll come up, he'll go into his nightmare state and he'll call his shielded ads. We're going to just try and take at least one from each side, hoping that the explosion will help us. Dodge, reload, and now this is where it can get interesting, because if you dodge, reload, like as you see now, I did, I'm going to move all the way up to this last bone, because it just provides me more, provides me a bit more cover. Now I'm going to go up here, dodge, reload, and then I change direction, because the ads will follow in the direction they've seen you going in when you dodge reload so now we've lost the knight so we're just making it we're doing this dodge thing so that we don't get super pushed by ads but as you can see i keep coming out of my sights because the reason why we don't do any any kind of real work over in this side is because crota will push into that cave and one hit of the sword and you're dead so we're going to do everything from here so as you can see, you, you really can, we'll put down a smoke grenade and that stops, that stops him from, from coming at us, it stops the knight, and then we'll finish him off, dodge into the sword and grab it, and then we'll push Crota. Now you've seen there, it's it, it's really, it, it's almost a, a homage, we're going to try and get a tether off, tether those solar ones, see if we can grab any of them. I was lucky. I got I got some of them, and we just want to, because that will share the damage across them. You see, I nearly died there. That arc damage is, that arc damage is real. Now, as I was saying there, Crow is quite, quite glitchy, and you would expect nothing less, because he was probably the glitchiest raid boss in Destiny history. If you, if you, if he sees you. And, and you're not fast enough with your, your sword slam. I've I've had it a few times where he, even though I've I've managed to get him to go down, he still killed me before he's took a knee. So you my advice with the with the sword is make sure you're invisible when you grab it and get to him quickly. Stop him quickly while you're invisible and make sure you're on the same uh level that he's on. Because if you're higher than he is and it takes you longer to, to slam the sword. By the time you hit, he'll have killed you. So we never picked the sword up there, but we got him anyway. Now at some one point, he's going to stand up while you've still got sword energy. If he stands up while you've got sword energy, disengage. Now as you can see, the ads have ran across and the ads have pushed. Let's just see if we can get a shot or two. But because, because the, 
the ads and crow are push in here don't stand face to face and try and there's only two ads just dodge reload if you've got high mobility i've got i think i've got 82 mobility or 81 or 82 mobility because my mobility is so high that is what that's how you get your class ability back there's no paragon mods anymore it's the obviously with hunters it's mobility with warlocks it's uh recovery and with uh titans it's resilience the higher your your uh higher your stat for those things the faster you get your class ability back so with the hunter obviously it's high mobility you get your class ability back faster so i've, I've got mine i've got my class ability at uh i think i get my class ability back after 13 seconds so i'm again i took a hit dodge reload get out of there we the reason why i'm running from place to place isn't because i'm trying to get the perfect shot or you know oh i'm scared or i'm trying to get crota to move as soon as i see that crota's coming over i can go back over because crota's the one i'm kind of worried about i don't care about the ads i can you know dodge reload get out the way tether i've got loads of things to deal with the ads but crota hits so hard and any if you push down a bit further than where we are now he'll come around and 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 it's it's you know there's no way of getting away from him and as you can see there if you when you actually slam if you go to slam and you, like he's walked off this ramp and you go to slam we'll put up tether down see what we can do here if, if if he's as you can see they've got good shots good shots took all the ads we've got orpheus on so we are going to get quite a bit of our super uh, super back what did we get there about half so yeah if, if he walks off that that center part the same way that the knight's going now and you are raised above crota and you try to just slam down on him from height he will kill you before you hit, even hit the ground. You have to be on the same level as him. So I am I feel confident I can take this knight. And I did. So I'll dodge in. I didn't feel the need to go running away. So as you can see, I'm... If you can attack him from behind, you stand less of a chance of dying. Now, what's going to happen? You see there? He stood up. I still had sword. I'm out. Soon as you see him stand up, get out of there and go, and always head back to point C, point B. So Crota was had a bead on us. Now some people might look at this run and sit and think he's taking his time. He's running away. He's I'd rather stay alive than fail because I I decided to let my ego and my pride. I needed to get one more shot. I'd rather just land my shots and do everything a little bit carefully, and but more so, there might be some people out there that 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 that, that this even what I'm doing now seems like it's a bit risky, you know. And that's the people I'm making these guides for. If you don't need this guide, I hope you enjoyed the run. And the, to be fair, the level of uh, difficulty that this is, because make no mistake about it, this is the most I think after doing the ones I've done, I think this is the most difficult nightmare. It's definitely the longest. There's really no skippable areas. We'll put down a pre precautionary smoke to try and keep them in the same place. Now, as you can see, I've got a lot more. I've got a lot more. Uh, we're still going to attack him. We're going to dodge. We're going to get that. Hopefully, we get our health back. And I'm going to hit him as much as I can. He's nearly dead. I'm going to have to do one more sword. So what we're going to do is just run away. I'm not going to dodge just yet. Because as soon as I fire my tether. Because I want to try and capture some ads if I can. And try and just get. We never managed to get a shot off. So that the tether just kept them from roaming. Don't just. If if, if you feel like you're being pushed. And you're, you're getting nervous. Then yeah sure dodge. Get your invisibility and run away. Don't feel like you've got to do, you know, don't feel like you're failing if you're not doing damage every time, you know, the ads come up. Sometimes you've just got to position them just right. 
So, as I say, I'm trying to keep Crow in my sights because he does come in here. Dodge. As you can see, that was close. Had the Sword Knight. Had everybody pushing me. So, it made sense. It made sense to get out of there. So, up by this very last bone on the right-hand side. We're just going to try and take these last acolytes. Now we can't do anything because we're being pushed, so we've got to do another circuit. It just is the way it is. This this last one seemed to take forever because the ads it was when the ads spawned in. The ads spawned in before I was ready to actually deal with them. So dodge this is this is kind of there's one ad still left up, but we want the knight we do want the knight now to chase us. We wanted the knight to see where we were going. Remember, stay up by that right hand, that right hand bone. And now we want this knight to come up. There we go. We're just going to melt. And now dodge. And that's it. That's the run, guys. We're just going to run over here. We're going to drop crow a real quick. Now, as you can see, he went off the edge there, but I ran down. I never slammed from the top because he'd have killed me. You've got to be on the same level as him. And that's the run, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helps. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the run. I sure, I always enjoy putting this content out for you guys. Leave it a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video.